In this video, I will talk about admittance. Usually, we use the term admittance in case of parallel AC circuit. See, what is the admittance? Admittance is defined as the reciprocal of impedance. Admittance is the reciprocal of impedance just as conductance is reciprocal of resistance. See, in a DC circuit, resistance indicates the opposition to current flow and conductance indicates the easiness to current flow. And in case of AC circuit, impedance indicates the opposition to current flow or impedance reduces the current flow. Therefore, admittance will indicate the easiness to current flow in an AC circuit and admittance will be the reciprocal of impedance. Impedance is usually expressed with capital Y and the unit of admittance is Moho or Siemens. Now see admittance Y equal to 1 by Z reciprocal of impedance. Impedance equal to ratio of phasor voltage to phasor current. So 1 by Z will be ratio of phasor current to phasor voltage. 1 by Z equal to admittance Y equal to phasor current I to phasor voltage V. Now let me derive the relation between the impedance and the admittance in case of this parallel circuit. Let's say I have three impedances Z1, Z2 and Z3. They are connected at this common point and Z1, Z2 and Z3 are connected in this common point. So you will see they are connected in parallel. Let's say in this circuit I am applying a RMS voltage V. As a result we get the total current I. This is the RMS quantity. This current I will divide into I1, I2 and I3 through the impedances. The current through the impedance Z1 will be I1. Current through the impedance Z2 will be I2 and current through impedance Z3 will be I now see in this point or in this node you will see this I will be entering or incoming and I1, I2 and I3 will be outgoing. So if I apply KCL at this node I will get I equal to summation of in incoming currents will be equal to summation of outgoing currents. I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now see here we are applying a voltage of V. Therefore, with respect to this terminal, to this terminal, let's say the total impedance of the circuit is ZT or Z equivalent. Therefore, I can write down V divided by ZT will be our total current I. V divided by ZT. Now, see the voltage across this Z1 will be V because this is a parallel circuit. So, current I1 will be V divided by Z1, I2 will be V divided by Z2, and I3 will be V divided by Z3. Therefore, you will see this V will be common in the left side and right side. So I can eliminate the V from both sides. So I will write 1 by ZT equal to 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 plus 1 by Z3. See, this is the reciprocal of the total impedance. Now see, now see as the admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. Therefore, if I take the reciprocal of total impedance I will get total admittance admittance yt will be equal to reciprocal of total impedance now see reciprocal of z1 will be y1 reciprocal of z2 will be y2 and reciprocal of z3 will be y3 and each of them will indicate the admittance quantity see the impedance is a measure of opposition to current flow as admittance is the reciprocal of impedance it measures the easiness of a circuit to conduct electrical current that means admittance facilitates the current flow in a circuit impedance reduces the amount of current flow in a circuit but admittance y will increase the amount of current in a circuit the higher the admittance of a circuit the more current will flow in that circuit so in this parallel circuit our total current will be i and here we will apply total voltage v and the total impedance of the circuit is z t therefore by using ohm's law in phasor form i will get total current i equal to v divided by z t and the reciprocal of z t will be our total admittance i will be equal to v into yt and yt will be equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3
Now let me talk about the components of admittance. See, in a RLC series circuit, we can express the impedance as, as this form z equal to r plus j x if the circuit is inductive or z equal to r minus j x if the circuit is capacitive as the admittance is the reciprocal of impedance therefore you will see if i take the reciprocal of this z if i take the reciprocal of this z that means y equal to admittance y will be equal to 1 by z so you will see r plus j x its reciprocal will be equal to g minus j b and the reciprocal of r minus j x will be g plus j b here this g is known as the conductance and it is in phase component of the admittance that means it will go in the direction of reference and here this b is known as susceptance b is known as susceptance and it is quadrature component that means if i take the reference in this direction it will go either in this direction or in this direction quadrature component that means it will create 90 degree or right angle with the reference axis okay the susceptance can be classified into two types the susceptance of inductance is known as inductive susceptance in inductive susceptance and it is expressed with bl and bl is always negative in this video i will show you that if i take the reciprocal of this impedance r plus jx i will get this form g minus jb therefore this b will indicate the inductive susceptance and it will always be negative and another susceptance is known as capacitive susceptance susceptance and it is expressed with bc and bc is always positive here you will see if i take the admittance of this r minus jx i will get g plus jb now let me show you that how do we get g minus jb from this r plus jx by taking the reciprocal of impedance or how do we get the g plus jb by taking the reciprocal of r minus jx see here impedance of a circuit will be given as r plus jx it is for inductive circuit and r minus jx for capacitive circuit now see as admittance is the reciprocal of impedance this is our impedance so our admittance y will be equal to 1 by z so here i will get 1 by r plus jx reciprocal of this impedance or 1 by r minus jx reciprocal of this impedance now see i will rationalize this expression see here i will multiply r minus jx numerator and denominator okay r minus jx and here i will multiply with r plus jx both the denominator and numerator now see r minus jx here you will see r plus jx into r minus jx therefore you will see it will be of this form a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b so here you will see i will get r square minus j square into x square and the value of j square is minus 1 therefore you will see i will get r minus jx divided by r square plus x square and here i will get r square minus j square x square j square has a value of 1 minus 1 therefore here i will get y equal to r minus j x divided by r square plus x square or r plus j x divided by r square plus x square see i am finding the admittance of r plus j x which is this term and i am finding the admittance of r minus jx which is this term so if i decompose this equation i will get r divided by r square plus x square minus jx in the denominator i will get r square plus x square or r divided by r square plus x square plus jx divided by r square plus x square okay now see 
as our admittance will have two components this r divided by r square plus x square will be known as conductance okay so and this x divided by r square plus x square will be susceptance so i can write this as y equal to g minus j and this is b susceptance okay or i can write down this equation r plus jx in this form r divided by r square plus x square plus j x divided by r square plus x square this r divided by r square plus x square will indicate conductance g and this x divided by r square plus x square indicates susceptance so i will get g plus j b so i can i have shown you that if i have impedance of this form r plus j x i can rationalize it to this form g minus j b or if i have an impedance of this form r minus j x i can get a admittance of g plus j b where g is the conductance and this b is the susceptance so where conductance g equal to r divided by z square because r square plus z square it is the magnitude of impedance square z square equal to r square plus x square so conductance g equal to r divided by z square or r divided by r square plus x square and the susceptance susceptance is the ratio of reactance divided by impedance square x divided by z square see this r square plus x square will indicate the z square and if i if i divide the reactance with magnitude of impedance i will get x divided by z square r divided by r square plus x square this is susceptance okay now let me talk about the conductance and susceptance see if you look at the equation of admittance you see there will be two components this is the real part and this is the imaginary part and this g is the real part of the admittance so i can write down conductance g is the real part of y and i have shown you that it is given by the ratio of resistance divided by the magnitude of impedance square r divided by z square and here our impedance is given by r square plus x square and if you look at the imaginary part here you will see this susceptance will be its imaginary part and it is the ratio of reactance by impedance square so i can write it like this it is the imaginary part of admittance and it is defined as the ratio of reactance to the square of impedance we find the susceptance by taking the ratio of reactance to the square of impedance susceptance b equal to x divided by z square z square equal to r square plus x square and the b susceptance b could be inductive susceptance or capacitive susceptance inductive susceptance is negative bl is negative and capacitive susceptance is positive okay that's it thank you